three whole years. Three whole years I've been doing this, according to YouTube. My oldest video that I haven't deleted, that can be found if you have a link to it, because I do have it unlisted for I'm not sure what reason, was made three whole years ago. Hello everybody, here I are here. Welcome to a kind of sit-down, talky-feely kind of vlog video type thing that I don't normally do, and I do on occasion, and it's weird, and uh, whatever. This, you're probably gonna think if you watch a lot of bigger YouTubers, this is a very Markiplier-esque thing to do, to just sit down and kind of talk on occasion for no reason and make it into a video, and it's a very Markiplier-esque thing to do because that's where I got the idea from. I watch a lot of Mark, and this is something he does on occasion, and I figured it would be healthy and good for me to do as well, to look back and reflect a little bit, which is what I wanted to do today. That's why I started with that intro. My oldest video that can still be watched because I didn't delete it was decapitating Vox players. Three years I've been at this, and you can see here, if we just scroll through my thumbnails, you can see major garbage, like all the thumbnails are garbage, and then you start getting up a little further, and they get a little bit better, and a little bit better. They get a little better, they're still pretty garbage, and you keep going. You keep going, and eventually, eventually you get to here, and they start to look a little bit different. The style changes a little bit. You see a little less faces, you see a little more design, you see a little more effort. You also see me get fatter. I went from a little overweight to super fat, back to normal, and now I'm up to a tiny bit overweight. But you know, you, you see the improvement in the thumbnails, and if you watch the videos, you see huge improvements in the videos. Like, I look at my content now, and I have been the past couple days, and I've looked at all of these videos and streams and stuff recently, and I've been like, this is awful quality, this is, this is terrible quality. Like, here's the video that's going out Monday, I'm recording this before. Monday, actually, but here's the video going out, and I think personally that this video, like just just looking at it, I kind of look at it. I'm like, this this video is kind of it's kind of poopy. You know, you can look up Donut Count and you can find videos that are better than this one, but that's that's not what I should be doing. I shouldn't be comparing myself to people bigger and better than me. I should be comparing myself to me as I was three years ago. That's what we're here to do today. We're gonna compare myself to me three years ago. And we're gonna watch the first video I ever put on YouTube that's still available. Ah, here's my old intro. I remember I was like super, super proud of that intro even though it was pretty bad. It was some like generic copyright free ass? music and oh... Headless. I'm gonna throw your head in. Oh, the my way. old microphone was so bad, and the frame rate was awful. Man, this was. Where are you? This this looking on it is just a generally super low quality video I've made here. I'm kicking. Just generally really bad. It was like my first time using OBS, and holy crap! Look, hold up, look at my room. Yo, it's so different. Okay, you see that area in the background there? Where there's that like domino house thing and the lamp and that window. That's where my desk is right now. Like this this corner here. That corner. That's the corner you're seeing there with the lamp in it. My room used to be so messy. There used to be so much stuff. I mean there's still a lot of stuff and it's still kind of messy. But it's just less stuff. And most of it is kept in much, much more order than it used to be. But yeah, that... That's the same corner. Wow, it's such a difference. That's actually legitimately, like, amazed me. <laughs> I forgot how bad my room was. There actually, you see where that blanket is? That's covering. I had this basket where I would just throw all my cables in. Like, at random. And now I have these drawers in a shelving unit from Ikea. That I keep them all in nice and neat and... You know, that's, it's really nice. It's much neater than it was, and it's better than that just bin 
full of cables with a blanket on top of it that I also sometimes put over my window because the light would come in and like shine on my face while I was recording. And that was my solution to the problem. My frame rate is so poor. Oh man. Don't worry anybody who's watching this. You know, I remember I made this video. I put like a week of editing into this. This this now. This now is like two days of editing, maybe. Like a day to two days of actually no, this is like yeah, this is between a day and two days now, which to a lot of people is going to sound like, you know, that's ah, a little long for something this simple, but, uh, keep in mind, I'm still not very good at this, but, like, that's better than a week that it took me. Wait, can you shoot their heads off? Man. I don't know. Wait. It's so surreal and strange to look back on my own content. And it's like, I have the same headphones I have here now, but the black version, which ended up breaking on me. Uh, speaking of which, I might get the Hish 3 wireless at Best Buy. Just because the pads in these are getting a little worn out, and I kind of want to continue with the Hish series of headphones. My motivation for YouTube definitely started in the wrong place, because I remember when I was making videos around this time, I was like... Oh, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, all the big Minecraft YouTubers, they're rolling in dough. They get all this attention from people. They're so famous. I want to be like that. That's that's something that I want. I, I should do this. And that was my original motivation, which was very shit motivation. And after a while, that attitude I had kind of changed. The attitude changed. It was a very different attitude I had towards it. I started doing it for fun instead of for fame. I started doing it for fun and for my own enjoyment. And I remember at one point I actually overworked myself and experienced burnout with literally like an average of no views per video. You know, a, a lot has changed other than my YouTube stuff. A lot of personal stuff has changed. I actually remember three years ago around this time, I was actually pretty, uh... I forgot about that edit, Jesus Christ. I actually remember around that time, I was pretty homophobic. Look at me now. I own these and a pair of socks to match. <laughs> uh, a lot has changed, both personally and as far as my content goes. You know, I, I really... You know, after I stopped doing it because I thought I would get famous and I just did it out of enjoyment, I took a different... A very different approach to everything. I took inspiration from the people I watched and I enjoyed. And that's why you'll see a lot of... How do I put it? There's a lot of fast-paced editing, but I also like to do occasionally a video like this where I get to slow down and I just get to talk and I get to ramble with, you know, absolutely no goal in mind. You know, those are all, you know, the, this kind of video is something I see Markiplier do on occasion and he used to do quite a bit. And it was something that I liked when he did. I liked when he would just sit down and he would be honest, he would be real and he would talk. I quite enjoy that he is very entertaining, so he has a very simplistic style of ent ed editing, <laughs> of editing, and it's just generally really fun to watch. I am, uh, I'm not super entertaining. I can be funny at times. At times, I can be exceptionally entertaining. People tell me my voice is good, especially one really young kid from New Zealand who, ah, uh, Probably shouldn't be watching content in which an 18-year-old is screaming cunt at the top of his lungs every five minutes. But he really, really likes my voice. Like, has an unhealthy obsession with it, but whatever. I don't really personally like my voice that much. So I take inspiration from people as well, like, uh, Mini Lad. And I'll do, like, growing face cam and occasional edits of the video and stuff. That's a more recent thing I've been trying to do. I've been trying to incorporate better editing than just cut paste cut paste cut paste because it feels kind of lazy you know i i like the way tear of grace and sugar wolf have it super super fast paced and they don't have a face cam so they do all this weird editing with the game and the audio and stuff i like that you know but it's it's a little too much and because i had the face cam i want to do stuff with the face cam so i've got this hybrid of all kinds of inspiration just just uh, cramming together into my sort of style that I will end up developing and improving upon as 
time goes on. I actually got the rounded face cam thing. Uh, well, I didn't get it from exactly. It's kind of weird to explain. I used to watch Oompaville. I don't really watch him anymore. Occasionally, I'll look up his channel and see what he's up to. But, you know, I, I just fell out of liking what he made for some reason. But I used to watch him quite a bit. And I liked the rounded face cam thing. And I wanted to do it. But I didn't know how I could do it. And as a result, I never really did it until... Uh, I wanted to start editing my face cam to, like, grow and shrink and be a separate entity from my video. Because I used to just pull my face cam up in the OBS recording and just have it permanently stuck somewhere. But then if information showed up on the screen, I couldn't move the camera. And when I zoomed in on the camera, the quality went down. And I didn't like that. So I started recording as two separate files. And eventually, you know, again, I wanted to start doing edits in HitFilm. And I was like, wait a minute. You know, I can't consistently, there, this is like masking thing, and I can't consistently apply a mask. How do I get my face cam as a separate entity that's always the same shape with without a mask and blah blah blah. And eventually I figured out how to use polar warps to make it a circle. And I was like, oh cool, I have the Oompaville face cam now. But it's some weird way of doing it because hit film is free and as a result they're a little behind but you know what they're catching up and it's honestly a really decent video editor there's a channel called shiny films who has hundreds of tutorials i recommend going and watching him to really figure out how to do things if you just generally have a hit film question or just fucking google it it'll take you you know three times as long to find your answer as it would then if you were using something like vegas or adobe's solution what what's adobe solution i don't remember like creative cut something i actually don't remember what it's called but it's it's a really good program but man just watching this video here it's go, going back to what this was originally about after that super long tangent because you know i have adhd and i can't focus and i go on tangents all the time it's kind of shocking to see how much i improved like that's a legitimate shock and if you look at one of my modern streams here, you can even see, like, a general quality improvement. Like, the stream generally looks pretty nice. Uh -oh. I think there might have been audio issues. So, there was no audio in my last couple streams. And nobody told me. I think someone mentioned it in this one. I fixed it near the end. Yeah, I did. There was just something like the audio died in the middle of it. But, like, even so, this, this stream is significantly let, uh... higher quality than, like, my older stuff. Like, this stream is was, was pretty good. It was fun to play. Play the game. And, like, look just look at the way it looks. It looks generally pretty nice, especially for a live stream. And then if you go back and you look at... You know, I could just Google my old live stream channel. Because for some reason, I had a stupid obsession with separating everything. Yeah, this, this was a stream I did while I was up at my dad's on the laptop I had up there. And... Like, at the time, this was acceptable oh to God me. Like, I, I still do have an occasional story. It's definitely a problem, like, what I was doing there. I'm still sick. But, like, now yeah, I'll back away, and, and I'll do it, and I'll cut it out of the video if it's in a live stream. I turn away, and I do everything I can to hide it. Man, like, look at this stream quality. And there I am eating, I think that's just chocolate chips. I was such a fucking fat ass. Oh, my God, but... Like, just look at this, it's generally crappy, it's choppy, the bitrate is crap, the webcam's crap, the lighting's crap, and I just, I've just generally improved so much, and it's, it's so strange, because I look at what I make and what I do currently, and I'll sit down, I'll edit a video, I'll play it back, and I'm like, it was okay. I could have done a lot better. This is pretty bad. You know, th those are my reactions. I generally think of my own stuff as really bad, even when it's modern. I don't know where I get this super, super high, unreachable quality standard that once I'm almost there, I then set even higher. I don't know why I do that or where I get it from, but, like, looking back at my old stuff, it's clear that I've improved. I've improved a lot, but, man, it's, it's so weird. The, the weirdest part, though, is this doesn't, feel like this was two or three years ago. I remember when I did this stream. I remember 
struggling with the bad aspects of the laptop. It literally feels like it was very recent. That that head chopping video I made, I'm aware was made in my like second ish year of high school. Even so, that second ish year of high school feels like it was only months ago. It doesn't even feel like it was that long ago. I remember it so well. It feels so recent. But it's not. It's just time has just gone. Time has passed and things have changed. And it doesn't feel like things have changed from my end. I have minor quality improvements. Each video I make, it just gets a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. And as a result, I don't notice that it's getting a little bit better and then a little bit better and then a little bit better. I just, it seems like video one is the same as video two, which is the same as three, which is the same as four and continue until you get to 300 or whatever I'm at. And it doesn't feel to me like anything has gotten significantly better because I haven't made these huge jumps. It's these tiny little quality improvements that you don't notice. And because it happens over a period of time, it feels like everything is exactly the same. I don't feel like I'm doing any better of a job than I felt like I did when I made content so long ago. But when I compare them, it's like so obvious. It's such a strange experience. It's such a strange thing to experience. It's like looking at your old schoolwork and stuff like that, except more mind-boggling. Anyhow, do I know what the point of this video was? No. Did I stick to the original idea I had when I started up the video? Probably not. Have I rambled and gone on about stuff that people don't care about and doesn't make any sense? Probably. Is this a sad excuse for a video that's going out when I have so much time to spare because I'm getting my stuff out on time now and on a schedule and really efficiently? Of course it's a crappy, you know, video to be going up. It's going to require very little effort to get this ready. It's like a couple pastes and like three or four fancier edits. But you know what? I just, I wanted to do this. I felt like this is something I needed to do to just kind of sit down and be able to talk. And you can expect this from me on occasion. Something might be on my mind or might be bothering me or I might just want to talk about something. You know, maybe something will happen in the news or in the world that upsets me or I have a strong opinion about. I might sit down and I might just talk about it. You know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know why I did this. I just, I wanted to, and you know, I feel like you, since it was kind of related to my YouTube stuff, you guys deserved to be here with me for this exchange of ideas amongst myself. I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what this was. <laughs> there was kind of a theme to it, like look at old stuff, look at new stuff, watch the old stuff. I didn't quite stick to it, but you know, if you made it this far, thank you for sticking with me along this strange journey of the inside of my half-assed, half, you know, completed brain. Anyhow, if this is the first video you've seen by me, this is not what I do. I play games, and they're better than the stuff I showed you here, because this is two to three years ago. This is old shit. Go, go, go to my channel, watch some new stuff, and, you know, see how you like it. Normally, I tell people to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and go to my Discord, but no. Not in this video. This video does not deserve a subscription from me. This is not subscription worthy. If this is the first video you've seen by me, this is a terrible reason to subscribe. You need to go watch, like, the last video I made, the Donut County video I made, one of my last live streams. That is content that, if you enjoy, is worth subscribing for. This is not worth... A subscription, a comment, a like, a dislike. This is just not worth interacting with. This is just stupid. And I don't know why I did it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just... Don't do, don't do any of that stuff because of this video. Go watch another video. I feel like this video, and this, this particular video, I haven't earned any of that. I haven't earned a Twitter follow. I haven't earned a Discord member. I haven't earned a subscription or a like. Or even earned a dislike in this. But I just don't feel like this video has earned anything, so I shouldn't get anything because of it. Go watch something else. That way I feel like I've earned your subscription, or your follow, or your join, or whatever. 
This is Hero Rareheart standing, scenic off. <laughs> keep that. Just keep that. Just keep it rolling. We'll, we'll just try it again. <laughs> this is Hero Rareheart signing off. I'll see you all next time with an actual gaming video and not one of these weird stupid things. <laughs> Unless you guys enjoy these, in which case you'll see me just sit down and talk more often when things are on my mind. Bye everyone.